I'm here today with Ricky Baez, Four Corner Resources HR consultant and 20-year HR veteran, who at one point was over a 1,200-seat call center. So, Ricky, it's safe to say you have some pretty good experience hiring call center representatives. I like to think so, Pete. Great. Well, what about someone who hasn't had as much experience and is hiring for the first time, perhaps? What mm. advice would you give to them? Here's my advice, Pete. Obviously, the, the first advice from an HR perspective is to make sure you familiarize yourself with the job description. You've got to make sure that you know exactly what the minimum qualifications of the role are. That way you communicate it to them and they're able to know whether they'll be a good fit or not, right? That's the first one. The second one is, it's since this is somebody who's going to be the face of the organization, a representative of the organization to your current customers, to your potential customers, the second thing is you want to find somebody that has a really good gift of gap. What does that mean? That's somebody who can build good relationships with the current customers and potential customers and get them just fired up about the services and products that your, that your company offers. So that's what I will tell them. Awesome. So that, that kind of energy and enthusiasm needs to be able to come across over the phone. Is that a fair way to look at it? What it, it's what I used to tell people is um, f see if you can hear the smile through the phone. If you can hear the smile through the phone, you've got somebody who's going to be great in that role. Perfect. And I think we all know what that sounds like when we hear it, right? That, that That's correct. Yes. You know, if you call one organization and it sounds like they're reading from a work, you know, from a workflow or they're really having a great conversation like you and I are having right now. What about experience, though, Ricky? How much experience does someone need to bring to the table? Or is this a role that you could hire someone with, with that really hasn't done it before? You know, here's what I like to do. Now, back then, Pete, we used to have to hire 600 people a year, 600 a year. That's that that wasn't an easy feat, especially with unemployment. That was that was really low at that time. Um, so what we used to do, I used to tell the 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 uh, team managers that were interviewing, don't look for a rock star right now. Look for a rock star. Look for somebody that has the capabilities, the foundation of being a rock star in six months with your guidance. Because if you wait for the rock star right now, you're going to have a lot of empty seats and a lot of time that's going to pass and that's going to cost some money. But if the if the, if the training department could put a little elbow grease, if the hiring authority can put a little elbow grease into modeling these folks to be the rock star in six months, that is what I what I teach them to do. So the big question is, what's the first thing to, to look for? Even if you don't have any kind of experience in the past, show me an example when you was able to convince somebody to go or do something they didn't want to to begin with, and you're, and you're able to do that successfully. Another interview question that I like to ask to for, 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 for them to show me that they have that good uh, you know relationship skills with a customer, let's say they did have experience. I would ask them, Show me, give me an example of a time when you had an upset customer and you was able to turn it around and make that customer happy and a lifelong customer of the organization. That would tell you exactly what that employee is all about. So hire for the future more so than today. Hire someone with great potential. Is that is that a good way to look at it? That's a great way to look at it, but there's an asterisk there, right? That means that the leaders and the training department are going to have to do some work to mold them to the leader that they want this employee to be for the organization in the future. All right, call center managers and directors, it's on you. You've got to do some work too, but I think we, we want to say that, you know, look for the, the person that you know is going to be great, even if they haven't uh, necessarily come to you with a long resume, um, just look at the individual more so than the paper. That's right. That's the best way to go about it. Awesome. All right. Well, you've heard it from the expert. Ricky, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Pete. Have a good one.